Hello, 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 wherever you are located on this intriguing planet called Earth, I sincerely hope you are having a gentle day, evening, or night, wherever you're located. Welcome to my channel on 3D Topics. In this case, as you can see in the upper left hand corner, I'm using Blender and I'm using version 3.2.0. It don't matter what version you're using because I'm dealing with meshes. So if you if you love Blender 2.8, Blender 2.0, even the older version of Blender, if you, if you love Blender version 2.6, you can still do this. It may be different commands though. Well, I don't know if the hair. Well, I'm using meshes and I'm using the hair particles. So I don't know if the hair particles are there in 2.6. So we're going to use hair particles. And my theme is with the hair particles, particles, I want to try to make the coat of a gorilla. And I said try. On, this is my first week and did my first full week. Yeah, but I said that. My first four weeks dealing with particles, I fell in love. I met with hair particles. I fell in love with hair particles when I made a video on aspects of the human face. When I start making the hair, the eyes, I'm sorry, the hair, the eyebrows, the eyelashes, then I start saying, damn, hair particles have uses because I don't see a lot of people using hair particles. Do you? I don't see a lot of artists using the them hair particles, and they renowned artists too. But anyway, let's jump into our little scene. Let's start. Oh, let me bring up my my empty data here. And move this out the way. Here is our gorilla in all his glory. I tried to make him, so I do have a little bit of modeling skills, but I'm really a low poly guy. I ain't up for all that photorealism stuff. Photorealism, because you'll be taking hours for that. So let me see if I can bring up my quickly made low poly version. And when my wife saw this, she knew it was a gorilla. I guess you can tell by the way it's standing. Like I said, but you see people, as I keep saying, you all see, <laughs> you all see I got some skills with Blender. I'm not just using Harold the Cube all the time. Like many people, Harold the Cube, the UV Spear, the Icon Spear. Nope. I can make something if I want to. If I want to make it a portfolio bit. So you know I can. If I can get this far, I can. But anyway, so here he is naked. I'm going to show you what I did in the particle system. Then I then we had to try to go over it, some of it together. I'm not going to go over everything. I'm just going to go over some of it. So. Over here, I have his particles already set up. I have his white fur. Click. You see the white stuff come on. Then I have the black fur. Zap. And I have his little face right here. All right, so there we go. My facsimile of a gorilla. Like I said, I'm starting to fall in love with the hair systems. Because you know most of us, when we start Blender, we never think about making no damn dog or cat. We only make things about making humans, cars, trucks, a house. That's it. We don't think about making nothing organic. But you see now, since I'm following over with a hair particle system, I can make a zoo one day. I can. All right, so we got him. I'm done with him. Let's go over what I did. Let's take it from scratch. So here's my little gorilla right here. Let me move him out the way. And since I'm dealing with hair particles, the little thing I have, I'm going to put it in front reach so I can get it better. Grab Z, bring it up. And since I'm dealing with hair particles, I'm going to try to get my gorilla a color like I did earlier. I hope I don't have to do this all over again. Let me go down here to my materials. I guess I got to do it from scratch again, people. Yeah. yeah. A different mesh, so I gotta do everything all over again. 
Let me see. I got. I got. I have an I five. I click on it. I have to wait. You see my little, little blue. Okay, there. And I'm gonna stick with the uh, viewport. Viewport display. Let me see if I can get a nice color for him. A nice pinkish color. That's the color he is. I should go to this purple part. Purple. Let's see. Can I make it pinkish? Okay, I'll leave him right there. That's good enough for him. There is his skin. I call it pink. Now, I'm also put my other colors here, too. I might as well make a color. Oh, because I already have a pink. See, one of my mushrooms, obviously, I got this pink 001. I guess it's going to be white. Mm. I'm going to call it white. You probably give it that number. White. Yep. So, well, I can't call my other stuff up. Okay. Oh, oh, good. I can. I can. Good. I don't have to make everything again. Let me see if I can get down here and choose pink. Oh, it looks black. I'll just make it a little bit lighter. Okay, that's good enough. But still, I don't have to. I forgot. I don't got to go mix so Blender did remember all that. You know, when you did on, on pink or old one. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. You know, when you're making something, you forget all them little little weird features of blending like it does remember stuff. Okay, so that's just uh I already got my fur color and I don't gotta worry about nothing else. So now But I might have to uh I'll probably have to go and give him a vertex group. Let me go and see. Door. Oh, let me move this one out the way. I think it's messing it up. You got the object mode. Uh huh. I don't want. I want to click on this. I guess I should just delete it. I don't need it no more. Delete. Let me click back on him. Let's go back to edit mode. Oh. I wanna do I have it on uh do I have it on yes I have it on that mirror modifier. Oh I hope I didn't get rid of my empty great uh, All right, don't matter. I just put another empty here because you see how that face look. That face looks terrible. I'm gonna put an empty right here. Let me click. Put it right there. Let me look at my mirror and see if I can. Okay, empty. Oh, one is gone. Where's empty? I just put a new empty there. Add empty. Add empty right here. Click on this. Oops. Click on this. Okay, so let's choose empty. Empty. Okay, grab on the X. Grab on the Y. Let's bring it together. Okay, finally. Sorry for the delay, people. Sorry for that. And then we can go to uh. Edit mode, I hope, of no glitches. Okay, good. That's it. That's it. Wonderful. 
Now we can start selecting areas for our uh, gorilla. You can use lasso loop, but I like to use the circle. I like to use the circle for me. So I'm going to choose all this. All of this right here. Get that whole leg. Oh, I don't want to do the feet though. I'm going to try to stay away from those feet. Well, I can go down and just take it off. I don't want to have nothing on those feet. I just move around, get the leg. Get underneath of it. Part underneath of it. Right there. I got that feet. So I want to get, get rid of that feet stuff. Oh, I can get inside that leg if I can. There's some more the feet. Okay. All right, that looks like it's it. So, oh, a little bit right here in the front. Now, when you're doing your hair, it's best to use vertex scoops if you can. That'd be a massive help. Most of them that show one hair. Like I, you know, a lot of them, if you look at it, you just have the hair on one thing, but I want to have multiple levels of hair on him or it. So, I'm in edit mode. I'll choose vertex group. I give it a new vertex. I'll call it white. Okay, good. Then I assign. I like to check, click off, select. Okay, good. I'll make another one, call it black, and I choose all the black hair. This may be the longest part. Selecting a. I want to try to stay away from that face if I can. I'll come down in here. I'm going to put it on face select. Let's see. I want to come all down here. Remember, I want to stay away from those feet. I, oops. Okay, I got that. Turn around. Get all up in there, but stay away from that face. Because when I did it the first time, I had some hair on her face. And unfortunately, the particles are not perfect. So it gave me hell. It's okay, but it's not 100% perfect dealing with these hair particle things. Okay, that looks good. Now, I will sign it. Click off. I like to select again. Okay, it's good. But now, I'm just going to get right to the point. I discover... The particles didn't work well when I had it in a, I'll give an example. You see how I had the mirror modifier. The other side is not highlighted. So before I go any further, I have to go back to my mirror modifier and then choose it. But you don't see it, but when I make the mirror modifier permanent, then it will translate to the other side. I'll show you. Click on this, the modifier. This is my mirror. I'm going to apply it. So it's applied. I have subdivision surface on. I'm going to apply that to you. And I'll leave it alone. Let's go back and I'll show you what I meant for the. Uh... So you see, the mirror modifier, it does work. You just don't see it. And also up here. But I got to make this black too. But anyway, it don't matter. You know, petty mistakes don't matter. But you see, the mirror modifier works after the fact. You just don't see it. I'm going to click on white, and I'm going to show you both sides. Both sides should be white. Select. You see that? So remember, activate the mirror. Oh, I wanted to get the butt teeth for black. I hope this don't give me no hassle. I'm going to choose black. Select. Remove. Then I want to do his butt black. 
That don't gotta be all. Let's not choose a sign. Let's see if it's stuck. Select. Okay, good. It's stuck. Wonderful. And also doing this make me more of a make me more adept at using the uh the vertex groups. I didn't get his top part. So let me get that top. I can get the top of his head too. I don't have to be perfect with it because I know that's a demonstration. Okay, that's good. So assign. Click off, select. Okay, good. All right, one more little part. Remove. So I got this part right here. Okay. Assign. Click off. Select. Wonderful. So now that that was the hardest part. Doing the vertex group. That may be the hardest part. Now we just go back to object mode. Go to your modifier, click on that plus, click on hair, click on emissions. Now, since it's an animal, it's good to give it more than a thousand. I give it four thousand. Four thousand strands of hair. This is going to be for the color white. All right, I got that out the way. And the segments and stuff don't matter because you know I'll, I'm gonna keep the fur close to his body. I'm gonna keep the fur at two temps, so it's close to the body, so I don't have to worry about all them segments and stuff. Okay, looks good. Let's go down to render. It's on paint. Uh oh, damn. <sighs> I guess I gotta go back and assign it those colors. Let's go back to the see. Uh, material. I guess I gotta go back and do this color crap. Let me see if I can choose one for white. White. Will it pop up there? I hope it pops up. No, why do I do it for? It? I know what I gotta do. I just click, make a new one. Then I choose white. Then it should be white. See? So I gotta go back and do this, but I don't have to go through all the whole process. Then I, I want one for black. So I don't so that's not too bad. I don't got I don't have to do everything. Now let's go back to the particles. Like I said. You become better with this stuff. White. See, it turned white. If you saw that. We're done with that. The next part I'm going to go to vertex group. And you know, most of the time, people always say go to density. Choose your white. But I discovered something better. Look at the head. When you choose that density, every hair is the same length. I'm a, I discovered from experimentation, choose length. And as you can see, look, you can see that the hairs, some of the hairs are different lengths. You see right over here where my mouse at? The hair here, different from the left there. So the hairs are not all the same length. You probably can see that. So for hair, choose length. And let us save you a lot of energy with the, uh, work with the, um, the hair particles. Cause you can adjust the length of hair particles. But what, but why go through it when I can do it right there? So it's white. Oh. And I want to put it on children simple. You see that? 10, that's a lot of hair. I might make it 20. 20. Okay, that's good. And you can do as much as you want. But you see the hair is still unrealistic. We still got more work to do because all the hair is pointed out. You know, on most animals on planet Earth, the hair is not sticking out. So we got to work on that. So we take one step at a time. Now. I'm going to go, I'm going to add my black. Click on that. Or I still click. I'm gonna choose uh I made a white, choose a new hair particle with a new particle. I'll call it black. We'll go through the same steps. I made it four thousand hairs. Oh, I didn't choose hair though. Choose hair. Make it four thousand. Or well, however you want. I think I had another two thousand, but hey, it, it don't matter. I'll put it at two tenths. Two tenths. So we got that out the way. 
Let's go down here to render path. Okay. I want to choose black. See, it wasn't. See, now you see it looks black. But the real magic comes when we add those children. Click on children. I choose simple. And I said I like to choose simple because they may, it may, I'm not an expert, but it may help the rendering. Most people use the interpolator that I saw on YouTube, but I might choose simple. For all I know, it may help my rendering out. And since the, since the hair is close to the animal, I don't really care. I choose 30. And there we go for the most part. There's so much that is, is around his face. And to take care of that, let me go back to uh, particle edit. You see that? There's two ways of doing this. I'm going to go to the vertex screen. Let me see it. Particle. I'm going to check, check out weight paint. Okay, so it is blue. So it shouldn't be no hair there, technically. Technically. But you know how things go in real life. So let's go back to particle edit. Let's choose this, the cut tool. Okay, it's cutting some of it. Now, this don't work perfectly. You see some of my hair don't, don't get cut quickly. You have to wiggle around, change the angle of your uh, the mesh. See, some of the hair not getting cut. You saw where my mouse was, so I had to move it on a different angle. I hope that it do it. I may have to make my this window smaller too. See, the, the smaller window killed some of it. Like I said, see the smaller, I hit F to make my thing smaller. Hit F. I'm going to make it small again. Okay, it's gone. So, it's all about learning. That's another way to get some of the hair. Make that, make F as small as you can make it. Then it may get rid of some of the hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I want to try to get rid of everything. See, I can't get rid of that for some reason. Do I got to make it even smaller? Uh, I might get to turn it around some more. See, these little tiny parts, they're not going nowhere. That's went. That went. So let me see if I put it on an angle where they get rid of this. Still not going nowhere. Damn. Oh, good. It's gone. Put it on that angle. Okay, it's, it's going. I still see a tiny piece. Now, sometimes when you get cut the hair, you might have to fight with it like I am. You might have to move it on different angles and change that brush size. But I say it's all about lining. I still see some little pieces. Or could that be stuff on my monitor? It's a piece right here. Let me tilt this on. See that little piece? Okay, it's gone. And I guess the little parts, I see, okay, I see some stuff, still something right here. Ugh. Oh my, okay, that's a little bit better, but you get my point. See, that's what irritates me about this hair part. Let me go back again. If I can't get rid of it, I'm just going to move on because I don't want to hold nobody up. Hit F, make it large like that. See, visually, it's like nothing here. Oh, is it? I see a hair right now. Okay, no. I don't see no hair. Nothing. Okay. I wonder if I can just brush it out the way. Oh, but, but how can I brush it? Because when I'm here, there's no hair. Let me see what happens if I just move it to the side. Oh, I don't want to touch no hair yet. Because I got some up to show. So I learned this too. When you're dealing with your hair particles, don't touch the hair. You see this little thing I have right here, this black area right here, this black square. Don't touch the particles. Use the black square to help you shape the particles. So remember that. I learned the lesson. Don't touch nothing. Do everything pointed out straight. Make your sample area that I have right here in my sample. 
and mess with that, then I use what I got from here to adjust my particles. And I'm not going to go over a lot because I don't want to. I don't want to hold up no one. I don't want to hold you up super long. All right, so let's get to this now. I discovered first when I did this, I like to go right to kink. Then I start working with stuff. I see what's the best. See that look? That's too strong. Braids. Okay, that looks okay. But I got the black all up in there. Wave. Radio. Okay, I may stick with radio. I'm looking at that. I may come back to a curl. I don't want to choose nothing that makes it hard on me. And the reason you should choose kink, because that, that'll take out some of the hardness of your, uh, that may help you out. I'm going to choose, what was I use? Was it spiral? No, it wasn't that. I think it was wave. Uh, let me go over them all again. Curl. Oh, let me click on my figure. I chose curl. Too strong. Radio. Okay, I'm going to use, I'll stick, I'll stick with radio. Now, we can start messing with this. I want to, I want to delete it because it, I don't, I don't want to hit the back key. I just delete this right here and start again. Keep it simple. And meta, I put it at 100. And I'm going fast for this part because I already went over this. Render. I want to make that a little strange one. I want to put it on here. I think I had a mission on 10. Yeah. Then I want to go to children, simple, and leave it alone. Now you see all of our hair is sticking crazy. No animal have hair like that. Now, since I chose my kink type, which is, uh, I think it was wave. I chose my kink type as wave. Oh, sorry. You're right. Nothing. My king type is on my animal. I chose radio. I'm going back and forth between this. So I'm going I'm to put my king type here to what? Radio. And we see how radio looks. It still looks sort of straight. And I can tilt this. Now you can start messing with stuff over here. For the king type, you can mess with your amplitude. And you see what the amplitude doing? It's making the hair look more random. I'm gonna put it back to what it was. Just by using that random, just by using amplitude, it's making the hair look more organic. I'll put it at. I will look at one. So I'll come to my eight, my uh, my gorilla. Make his. Let me go back up here and check. See, I, I look at this. I use this to help me. I use that to help me. 1.2, you just, you just can see 1, amplitude 1. And you see, a change has developed. It, okay, it's still white, but it, 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 it does more chaotic looking though. I'm going to come back over here. I choose that I made an amplitude 1. Oops. I want to click right here. My amplitude is uh, right here. You can choose your clump now. Let's see what happens if I choose my clump. It's all about experimentation. Now, on clump, I have to probably zoom all the way in. It's going to affect the endpoints. Ain't too much, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna choose flat now. I don't see much happening. Frequency gonna change. See that? Frequency makes the head spread out even more. Frequency. So I'm gonna give it a frequency of 2.5. Let me click back on it. 
our frequency is okay it's two so I take two point five and then it looks a little more robust now all right let me click back on that I'm gonna choose my shape let me zoom in some more so I can see what the shape does okay look at that see that's what the shape does but I'm happy with what I got so far so after you handle the kink part then you can jump up here and deal with the length, the threshold. Let me see how. Yeah. I do it by length. Let me see. I know. He's saying each iteration is slightly different. I clicked on this. So, split amount, 100 amount. Length. Oh, I know why. Because this is my original length. So it's not going to affect it that much. No, the threshold, where did it affect it? No, it's my. Oh, but it did. My size can affect it a little bit. Random, slight, radius. And that's another big thing. See, radius throws the hair off even more. I'm going to give his radius. Uh. I'll call it point one. And there it is, see? But I want to try to make the hair look a little more curly without having to go down there and choose the curl thing. Then I'll wrap it up from there. Roundness. Oh, let me check let me check out clump. Clump has an immediate effect. You see that? An immediate impact. Let me click on my hand. Let me choose clump. Let's see what it does for him. You see that? Clump hat, when it's negative, it brings all those endpoints together. And when it's like that, I'm sorry, I'll put it like right there. I want to bring some more there. Okay, like that was clump. Oh, and twist. That think that may be the, the the real magic for him. Oh my God, I, I'm gonna go back to choose that clump. That clump. He got a lot of now. It like he it, like he's sick. It like he's sick. I want to put it on zero. Oh, right, but I'm gonna show you what twist do, and I'm gonna then I will wrap it up. Cause I don't, I don't like to make it real long videos. Uh, twist. That's the that's another thing that's real magic. See, it's actually twisting the hair. Watch this. It makes it more organic. That would twist. So you see what twist doing. So let me go up here to my my little gorilla. I'm gonna give him some twist. I want to see if his hair don't. I don't want it to be so. Uh. Okay, now his hair don't look so pointed. I wonder why I took off some of his uh, his fur. See, I don't like that. I affected his fur. It like he like he has mange or something. It probably be down here with this uh the kink section. That probably messed it up. Amplitude. Oh, wrong one. Okay, that's doing some good. But anyway, people, I said I'm not no expert. You have to keep playing around with it. I wonder why I guess some. I guess I made a mistake and had some black in here too. You see where it's black at right there? Let me go back and check my vertex groups. Put in edit mode. Okay, there's nothing black over here, so I don't know why I changed black. 
and take it off here and go to white. That should be all white. It was like that when I first started, wasn't it? See? Let me take, I'm going to go up here to my particles. Let me see if, what happens if I turn off black. See? How that black get in there? I'm gonna let that, 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 that I messed up going to my kink. But I see, it's a lot of trial and error, people. As you all see, it's a lot of trial and error. Okay, that, so that, that's fixing it back up. And I know, I, I recognize the clump effect. I recognize that. That's why, I, that's why I look like names right there. Let me go back up here and check some of this clump. You see that? Just, I know that was the clump. I'm put it back to zero. Put the radius back to zero. Oh, well, I'm going to put it to one. Nope, not one. I say five tenths. One tenth. Okay, so that's that's getting rid of some of the mains right there. Okay, so that, I'll live with that. I'll say 0.15. A radius. Okay, if it's a radius. Maybe the radius did something to it. But I don't know why it's black. Is it black because I did something down there and uh this section down here? What happened if I put them all to zero? Everything to zero. I thought that I would change it. So it must have been some somewhere else. Zero. Oh. So it's it's getting better slightly. I wanna put everything back to zero. Except for that radius. All right, but that's it, people. I don't want to hold y'all up. I don't know why they got some of that black in there. But it requires experimentation. It requires a lot of experimentation, as you saw. But you saw my first one. My first one, it was perfect. My first one, there was no flaws in my person. But you know, when you go back and try to show up, try to do it again, all that dumb stuff happened. All a lot of dumb stuff happened. But my first one that I made was perfect. So I don't want to hold y'all up. Let me click off this. The one I don't like. Here's the one that looks fantastic. So we see, I do have the potential. They got a little bit of black in here too, but I guess the real one got a little bit of black. But I do have the potential, people. Here's my here's my good one. So thank you for stopping by. New beginners, you keep pushing. Don't stop. Don't put your head down. Keep working. Till the next time for the family, 3D family, peace.